The purpose of this video is to explain the movements due to a change in accounting policy for inventories. We assume that an entity was incorporated on 1 January 20x12. The closing inventory balances for the 20x12, 13, 14 and 15 year are provided. The current financial reporting period is 20x15, which means that the comparative period is 20x14. During the current financial year, 20x15, the entity decided to change its accounting policy for inventories from the old method, which was first in, first out, to the new method, which is weighted average. When we calculate cost of sales in the statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income, we can do it by saying opening inventories plus purchases less closing inventories. The opening inventories in this example for 20x12 will be naught as this entity was only incorporated on 1 January 20x12. Purchases will not change just because the accounting policy was changed. During 20x12, at the end of the financial year, the closing balance of inventories increased by 120. If closing inventories increases when we calculate cost of sales, it will mean that cost of sales will decrease in total. If cost of sales decreases, it will mean that profit for the year increases. If profit for the year increases, the retained earnings balance will also increase. The closing balance of retained earnings at the end of 20x12 will increase by 120. This retained earnings balance is a cumulative balance and takes into account the opening balance plus movements for the year. The opening balance of retained earnings for 20x12 was naught because this company was only incorporated on 1 January 20x12. The opening balance of retained earnings for 20x13 will also increase with 120, which was the closing balance movement in 20x12. If you look at cost of sales for the 20x13 year, opening inventories will have increased by 120, which was the same as the increase in closing inventories in 20x12. At the end of the 20x13 year, closing inventories increase with 150. If we want to calculate the effect on cost of sales for 20x13, we need to take into account the movement in opening inventories as well as the movement in closing inventories. We will add 120 more opening inventories, but we will also deduct 150 more in closing inventories. That gives us a net decrease in cost of sales of 30. If cost of sales decreases, then profit for the year will increase. Because profit for the year increases, the retained earnings balance will increase. The closing balance of retained earnings at the end of 20x13 is a cumulative amount. It takes into account 
the 120 movement in opening balance plus the 30 movement for the year. This gives us an increase in retained earnings closing balance of 150, which agrees to the increase in closing inventories at the end of the 20x13 year. If we look at the 20x14 year, the closing inventories at the end of the year increase with 205. This will need to be taken into account in cost of sales. The opening inventories of cost of sales is an increase of 150, which was the increase at the end of 20x13. If we want to calculate the effect on cost of sales for 20x14, we need to take into account the movement in opening inventories as well as the movement in closing inventories. We will add 150 more opening inventories but deduct 205 more closing inventories which will give us a net decrease of cost of sales of 55. If cost of sales decreases then profit for the year increases and because profit for the year increases the closing balance of retained earnings at the end of the year will also increase. If we look at the 20x15 year the opening inventories for cost of sales will have increased with 205 which was the closing inventories increase in 20x14. At the end of the 20x15 year, closing inventories increase by 300 and this will be taken into account in cost of sales. If we want to calculate the effect on cost of sales for 20x15, we need to take into account the movement in opening inventories as well as the movement in closing inventories. We will add 205 more opening inventories but deduct 300 more in closing inventories. This gives us a net decrease of cost of sales of 95. If cost of sales decreases, then profit for the year will increase. This increase is taken into account in the statement of changes in equity. The retained earnings closing balance at the end of 20x15 is increased by the cumulative effect of both the movement for the year and the opening balance. The closing balance of retained earnings therefore increases by 300 which agrees to the increase in the closing inventories balance at the end of 20x15. The amounts calculated will be used to prepare the journal entries to account for the change in accounting policy. The journals will change the financial statements. The financial statements will also include a note, the change in accounting policy note. That will indicate all the line items in the financial statements that were changed. Remember that the statement of financial position needs a third column namely the opening balance of the comparative year. This column will also be disclosed in the change in accounting policy note.